We're going to show you how to reprogram your RDU 4160D two-way radio. My name is Dustin McKinney, Marketing and Training Manager here at Wireless Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to manually reprogram your RDU 4160D radios. We're going to, going to focus on frequency, privacy code, number of channels, and weather channel options. First, let's tell you a little bit about the RDU 4160D radio. This is part of Motorola's business tier offering. They include a two-year full replacement warranty. This is a top seller in construction and industrial um, vertical because it's a rugged model, very robust, 16 channel options that gives us more than enough talk groups to communicate on any job site, for example. One of the many benefits, because it is a business radio, we can manually reprogram settings in the field. So that's what we're going to show you in the video. Okay, so first let's identify our buttons on our RDU 4160D radio. We have our volume knob and you twist that to turn it on. The channel knob up top. Over on the left side we have our push to talk button. Our side button one, that's easily identified. It has one dot on it. Side button two with two dots. So that's pretty straightforward. And then over on the front of the radio we have our menu button. We're going to use this to scroll through our setting options in programming. And then our left and right I'm going to call them soft keys. It's the A button and the B button. We're going to use these to change our values up and down when reprogramming our settings. And first we're going to show you how to enter programming mode on your radio. We're going to press and hold two buttons here on this, on this radio. It's going to be the push to talk button, side button one. We're going to press and hold these two and then we're going to turn the radio on. Keep these buttons held down until we hear a chirping pattern. It'll sound like this. It'll take a few seconds. Channel one. We'll get that unique chirping pattern. There's going to be two ways that we can tell if your radio is in programming mode. You'll have a blinking green LED, and then on your radio screen, you will see a PROG right here. If you, as long as you have that PROG on the screen and a blinking green pattern, you know you're in programming mode. Now the first setting we're going to change is going to be our frequency number. First of all, I'm going to change my channel knob to get to channel 1 because we're going to rechange our settings on channel 1. Channel 1. It'll tell us what channel we're about to program. If we need to change that at any time, it's pretty straightforward. Just change your channel knob. Channel 2. Channel And so one. on and so forth. Now we're going to tap the menu button. It's going to give us a frequency read readout and then a flashing number. And then to change that value, we're going to go up by using the B button or down by using the A button, so we can change that appropriately. You'll see that that number value changes. Then we're going to move on to our next setting. Next is our code setting. We're going to tap the menu button again. It's going to give us a flashing code number. We're going to change that value up with the B button or down with the A button appropriately. Then we're going to move on to our next setting. Now our next setting is the scrambling feature, so if we Tap our menu button. It's going to give us scrambling. By default, it's zero. This is a rarely used setting, so most of the time we're just going to bypass this setting and go on to the next. The next setting is our active channels. So if we tap that, it should show us that we have 16 channels available. In the event that we want to remove some channels, we can change that. You know, let's say I wanted to go down to 14. I can press the down button twice and then we only have two active channels. Then let's go on to our next setting. So the next setting will be our call tone. If we tap our menu button, it's going to give us the call tone is set to zero. You can use this feature if you want to change one of your programmable buttons to initiate a call type pattern. That's useful if you want to alert people before you're going to say, say something in the radio. I can change it and it will play aloud the different tones. So on and so forth. I'm going to take that back down to zero. And then, you know, when it was disabled, we just got a bonk pattern. And then we'll go on to our next setting. All right, next we have two microphone gain settings. The first one is internal mic. That's the mic physically on this radio. That adjusts the sensitivity of the microphone. If we have someone who talks loud, for example, we can turn the sensitivity down. 
if we have someone who talks more talks more quietly we can adjust the sensitivity to go up so we'll tap our menu button again we'll see the eye mic that's for internal mic with a default gain we would change that up or down with the left or right soft key next is going to be our accessory microphone gain setting if we tap the menu button it'll just say mic same setting but that's for if you're using an accessory such as a shoulder mic or a standard earpiece and then we'll adjust the settings up or down appropriately and then go on to our next setting and then our next to last setting will be auto scan we can have these radios configured where if i flip over to channel one for example in this case and it's set to auto scan the radio will automatically enter scan mode i don't have to press a button to toggle that on or off You'll see it has that little Z pattern on the screen and it should default to no. If I wanted to change that to yes, I would click my right soft key or my left soft, my left key. That's going to just toggle between the yes and no settings. After that, we're going to go on to our last setting, which is the weather channel. The weather channel is activated on the last channel on your RDU 4160D by default, so channel 16. If we want to move that weather channel setting to another channel, let's say channel one for example we can do that so here so I tap my my menu button it'll say weather should say off or disabled and if I want to toggle it on or off I would press that key and it would say on or enabled now after that we need to save our settings so to do that we're gonna press and hold our push to talk button we'll hear a single beep and then we'll and then it'll sound like this Pretty straightforward, single beep. You'll notice you still have a blinking green LED and you still have the PROG on your screen. At this point, you can use your channel knob to switch to other channels and adjust those settings on a channel by channel basis. Once you're done, you wanna save your settings and exit programming mode. To do that, we're gonna press and hold our menu button one more time. We'll hear another beep and then we'll go back to our blinking red LED. It'll look and sound like this. Battery level, medium, channel, one, weather, one. That's that weather channel I enabled. I'm going to flip over here so you guys channel can hear me. Two. So that's how you program it. Now that you've saved your settings and exit, exited programming mode, you're ready to use your radio as you normally would. If you have any additional questions or any feedback on the programming steps, uh, you know, feel free to ask us questions in the comments below, and we will be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any additional feedback or questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to us. Our information will be on the screen, and we will be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching.